Hello everyone, today we're going to be making a fairy garden in a teacup. I brought this teacup from the charity shop and I think it's perfect for this project. This craft is suitable for spring decor and it's also going to be a perfect Mother's Day gift. The first thing that you want to do is fill your teacup with some soil and this is the brand that I'm using and the soil type that I'm using. This is the moss type that I'm using and you can use the green moss or any other colour but I prefer this because it's neutral. Next I'm taking this small wood log and placing it here. I just really love the natural look and I want it to look like it's something out of the woods where you can find some magical fairies. Then I brought this small water feature and I think I'll add that here. I will leave the links to everything that I use in the description box and they're really super cheap. I buy all of my things from China so it's not going to cost you much at all. Then I'm taking this small fence and placing it here. I've got my fairy and I'm going to place her just on top of the wooden log. Taking a small artificial tree and I got like 10 in a pack for about £2 something so again really really cheap. you want to do is take some white fine glitter and that's so that we can sprinkle a little bit on and make it all that more magical. Okay so you can either leave off here and keep it as a spring decor piece or if you want to make this a mother's gift you can also gift it just the way that it is but I have one more step that I'd like to add just to sort of personalize it so if you want to do that then carry on watching it's so quick so I've got a heart wooden embellishment and I'm taking my acrylic painter in a really pale pink to match the flowers and I'm going to paint that Okay, change of plan because that isn't showing up at all. So I've tried the dark pink and that's showing up. So I'm going to fill that in. Next I'm taking these alphabet stickers from Hobbycraft. taking this leaf with a wire attached and I'm going to hot glue the embellishment onto about here. And here is the final project. I think it looks really feminine and vintage. So you can of course have it without the mum sign on, so for a spring decor or even just as a Mother's Day gift you don't have to have that additional part, but I think it just sort of personalises it and makes it a little bit more special if you do give it to your mum. So happy Mother's Day to all the amazing mothers out there, you do such a great job and I hope that you have a lovely day.
If you have enjoyed this DIY, please leave me a like and let me know what you think. Make sure you click subscribe for more amazing content like this. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.